Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of A Space for the Unbound. Last time we left off, we beat up security and now we gotta go down here. Please. <laughs> Hold the entire town hostage when I'm the one you want. Don't flatter yourself, girl. What worth could you possibly have in Raya's eyes? That's enough, honey. Raya, Marin. Shadow Atma. Atma, I... I thought you were gone. That That's why I made another you. What? Another me? I was devastated. I didn't have a choice. But now we can be together. You want that too, right? What are you talking about, Raya? That's not me. What happened to you? Atma, don't make this even more complicated. Don't you worry. Just sit tight and I'll make everything better again. I just have to erase this nuisance. Raya, I... I'm sorry for doubting you, Raya. Please, tell me how to make this right. It's too late. The wheels are already in motion. The end will come soon enough. Oh, please. Can't things go back to the way they used to be in the old days? Writing stories together... We can be like that again. Huh. My best friend. Wouldn't my best friend listen to the things I say to them? Not a single word I've said has made it through to you. You don't have faith in me. You never did. I'm just a freak to you like all the rest. Sorry, I am. Let me make it up to you. Shut up. You're a piece of my past I never want to see. Don't say that. We can talk this out. I'll make things right. Anything you want me to say, I will. Just tell me how you want the story to go. Story? How dare you say that? Everything I say and do my whole life is just some kitty fantasy to you. N no I... I mean... Right. Just like I thought. I should have silenced you from the start. God, you're using that power a lot. Marin, look out. Be gone. Ooh. Well, that was a visual. If this was Xenogears, we just got in a battle. This is... I... I was countering Raya's attack with a magic wand, and... I accidentally opened a rift? What timeline is this? See? And I want to draw the big blue star here because... Um, by the way, I have to go. You're leaving? Where? My drawing club, remember? Oh. Yeah. You have that now. Making great progress in class, too. I have this idea for a new completely original comic. Okay, so it's... I'm writing something, too! Oh? A new one? Can we work on it together? What's it about? Um... I, uh... I'd rather work on it with my friend. I'm your friend. No, I mean... Atma. You keep talking about this Atma. Atma this, Atma that. He's the only one that gets to hear about your new stories. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I had a thought that... Oh god, this is getting confusing. I had a thought that Raya was was Nirmala at some point. And I was like, uh, maybe not. And then it kind of hinted that maybe Marin was Atma was uh was uh Marin was uh Nirmala. But now it's seeming more like, yeah, Raya is Nirmala, and this is possibly the version of Nirmala she wants to see in her like, you know, dream world basically. But, I don't- I, I don't know, because Nirmala's actively countering Raya, it- th there's a lot to get through here. Who is he, anyway? What does he look like? Can I meet him? No. You- you can't. Why not? I... You know, it's- is Atma just, like, an imaginary friend that you created with your crazy power? I'm getting a bit old to have imaginary friends. What? I'm just saying, you're always talking about him, but I haven't seen him once. So I thought... I don't have to show you everything all the time, Marin. But... But I'm your best friend. Atma's my best friend. What? What does he do that I can't do? What makes him special? Shut up. Just... Just go draw your pictures at your dumb club. You like that way more than hanging out with me anyway. Well, that's definitely Nirmala. Wait, I... I don't... 
Hey, wait, don't go! Why... Why would you say that? I'm... You're my best friend. What did I do wrong? Why... Why do you hate me? Please, I'm sorry. Uh-oh. Okay, things are getting... Things are getting confusing. Things are getting very, very confusing. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's face dive into you. See what we can, uh, see what we can find out here. This is Marin's heart. Who is that? Is that Miss Nikon? I was thinking, the dull color is so boring. This is the magic wand, after all. You're right, it should be sparkly, like... Gold. Gold! Aw, oh, you beat me to it. It's okay, great minds think alike. You're so- we're so alike, it's cute. <laughs> Well, uh, not really weird like you. What? It's nothing. Okay, so wait, this is Raya. Oh god. D this is definitely Raya. This is definitely, definitely Raya, because you're the outcast that everybody thinks is weird, and you- you had a reaction to be- So, are Nirmala- Did Mara know both Nirmala and Raya? My head hurts. Oh, okay, coming. Marin. Um, I'm, I'm coming. Okay. I'm guessing this is going to explain. I like this visual. Like the... We're doing some Scooby-Doo shit. This is the door that teleported her to the island. I need to follow Marin. She went into the third one, right? We have, like, the square cubes of water, and... <laughs> Let's see what's in this bag. Let's see, weird drawing, weird drawing, and yep, another weird drawing. Did you ever do anything normal at all? Stop. Uh huh. look, this one looks like Eric. W what? Aw, oh, are you two dating? Yo, Eric's dating the weirdo. Uh, I I'm not. Uh, who would ever want to be with a girl like you? You freak. What's this weird stick thing? Did you make it? The magic wand. Hey. That's my friend's. Give it back. Liar. Who wants to be friends with a weirdo like you? Stop it. Help. Aaron, help me. Yeah. It's always rough seeing kids get bullied in anything. It's horrible. Uh... Okay, you went into the last one. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Huh, I'm back here again. Guess that's what happens when I choose the wrong path. Need to follow Marin. Isn't that what I did? I mean, in this one, I just walked into the only door here, and it took me there, and then one, two, three, four, five, oh. But there's not a fifth door. I mean... I tried four last time, and it didn't work. Okay, th apparently three was the answer? Oh god, what is happening? That time it was two and three. Two? Back again. Weird. Well, this one worked last time, I know that. So, two... and three. So, five? That was actually right. You- you combine two and three becomes five. Okay, weird. I don't even know if that was the correct way for me to do that, but you went in door three, and then the other you went in door two, so I was like, does that mean I go in door five? Oops. Where is she? She said to meet here, but... I hope she brings the story. I wonder how... Useless brat. Running around town behind my back when you're supposed to be studying. Got loan sharks on my ass because of your school fees. And you can't even pass like a normal kid. Is that things I get? A freak kid and a useless wife? I... I'm sorry. God, you're... Not a... Not a great... Not a great father. I understand you're going through a lot, friend, but Jesus, you don't need to be abusive to your kid and your wife. 
shut it. I give you life, girl. The mom did most of that. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, now what? God, yeah, Raya's been through some shit. Well, now, now what? Damn it. So, we, we, we came in that one, so let's go in this one? Back again. What? Okay, three, three was it. Three was it. I think I see what's going on now. I think when we're seeing the clones run places, it tells us which doors we're supposed to go in on the next screens, basically. So, I don't know what the answer to this one is. I'm just gonna go for five. That was wrong, but see, we can see here... That's the screen with, like, the crazy purple shells, and you go into door three. So now we're here with crazy purple shells, and we go into door three. Spiky shells, we go into the final door, and green shells, we go into the final door. So that's what was happening. That's what was happening. It- I was thinking it told us, like, somehow on this screen, but no, it- it prepares us for the next ones. Okay, I think on this one you went in two and three. So this one is three. And this one is two. So it was something stupid I was missing. Um, but I get it. I, I see now. It said, look where you're going, but I thought that corresponded, like, basically those gave me a hint about what door I'm supposed to go to on that screen, but no, it's the next screens. I just had to pay attention to the stuff in the background. <laughs> now let's rip up her book. Stinty spot here, should I write something? How about go die, freak? Is that too much? Yes. Nah, it's not like we're pushing her down the stairs or anything. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Hey look, I found another one of her drawings. Ew, what even is that? <laughs> so gross, get it quick. <laughs> She's gonna freak. Lauren, did you just stand by while all this was happening? Okay, now see, the problem becomes now, I, I don't remember what what the one for this was. Spiky? There's so many breaks in between um, with those cutscenes and stuff, but yeah, so now that we get the gimmick though, it's a little bit easier. Okay, Spiky was the final one. The final one. Okay, so two and three. Okay, this one was five. Uh-huh. This one was three. Two and five. Okay, now that I understand what's what I'm doing, way easier. There you are, Raya. It's Marin and someone else. Whoop. There it is. I see you still haven't filled out the future consultation form. What about an art or literature major? You've always been creative. Are you afraid that people will judge you? Don't worry, I chose art school and nobody cared at all. It's more important to do something you're interested in. It's your life, after all. Easy for you to say. You know that those people treat you differently than they treat me. You do it, and people let it slide or even praise you. If I did it, I'd get called a freak. You really can't see that? You can't. You won't, I guess. Just like always. No, I'm not... Just stop, Marin. But hey, I know you love telling stories and making art. Remember when we used to write all that stuff in our base camp? You were crazy into it. You looked happy. If it's your dream, you should fight for it. Stop it. You keep talking like I didn't even try to fight for it. I'm not Nirmala. I can't do it. What is happening? You're not near Mala. You can't do it. Okay, here I was thinking Raya and Mala were the same person, but there they are different people. I mean, they have like different colored hair, so I guess that makes sense, but I'm like... Oh man, this game's making my brain hurt. Game making my brain hurt. You're not near Mala, so... Near Mala and Raya did exist together in the same world. And Marin knew both of them. Huh? Wait, what are you talking about? You are near Mala. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I was right the first time. You are Nirmala, but is- is that your childhood self that you're trying to- that you're trying to cover up slash kill now? No, Marin, I... You wouldn't understand. Atma's the only one who really understands me. This Atma again. Why do you keep talking about him like he's a real person? Because he is real. I went looking for him because you always talk about him so much. I can't find him anywhere. It's because he's not around right now. I looked in the archives, the city records, the phone book, even the newspaper from the last ten years. Shut up. There's no mention of an Atma anywhere. He isn't real. You have to move on. We're getting too old for imaginary friends. You don't understand. I... I'm sorry. Don't. Uh... What is Atma? Is it someone you, like, actually created with your power? I'm your best friend. What did I do wrong? Why... Why do you hate me? You were pushing a little too hard, Marin. Raya's clearly in a very, very vulnerable state, and unfortunately, you are not someone that is... You know, well-versed enough in this stuff to deal with it. People that are in these kinds of positions need professional help. This is why it's not a good idea to just, you know, try to throw all of this stuff on your friends. They're, they're not trained professionals. They don't know how to handle that stuff. They can help, yes, but it's more of a band-aid solution than anything. You really need therapy, medication, things like that. <sighs> Here's a new part of the story. Thank you, Marin. So yeah, it seems like Nirmala's Raya's like younger self that she's basically covering up now because she got to high school and everybody started picking on her. The snail became so obsessed with spreading her magic that she left the south alone in the deepest darkest part of the ocean. Yeah. What does the story teach us this time? You buried your younger self. And now your younger self is trying to come back and wake you up. Marin. Oh no. No, 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 no. We got a story to read. We got a story to read. Uh, it's over here. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, this must be this one. Once again, the comet began to descend, sparking a bright golden light. The South Star Princess arrived on her third planet. It was entirely covered by a vast ocean. The South decided to dive below the surface to explore the depths, and before long made a shy snail hiding in its shell. The snail couldn't even face the comings and goings of the tide let alone an interstellar princess. She cowered before the south. Oh no, don't be afraid. There's so many beautiful things to see out here, the princess assured her. With the promise of friendship, she waved her magic wand and cast her miracle, showing the snail all the wonders of the universe. Sparkling stars, fish with glimmering scales, swimming in endless shoals, and colorful anem anemone as far as the eye could see. The snail was overwhelmed and finally came out of, it sh out of her shell. She was fascinated by the princess's magic and asked how she herself might have come might come to such have such power. The South was flattered and decided to lend the snail her magic wand. Alas, the snail became so obsessed with spreading her magic that she left the South alone in the deepest, darkest part of the ocean. Why did she leave me? she cried. With the last of her strength, she swam to the surface and boarded her comet once more. As the surface faded from view, the South held back tears of joy for having made friends with her magic, and of sadness, of having made friends with her magic, and of sadness for having lost them. The north, though, was adrift in an ocean of her own, and her tears fell unnoticed. So this is talking about, the snail is Marin, this is talking about your fight, basically. You made Marin come out of her shell, shared your magic with her, um, showed her the wonders of the universe, and the snail was overwhelmed and finally came out of her shell. She was fascinated and asked how she herself might have come to such power. The self was flattered and decided to lend the snail her magic wand. The snail became so obsessed with spreading her magic that she left the south alone in the deepest, darkest part of the ocean. Why did she leave me, she cried. With the last of her strength, she swam to the surface and boarded her comet once more. So yeah, this is talking about you two getting 
separated. And this is talking about... I, I believe this is talking about Marin kind of becoming more interested in school and stuff, and kind of going away. And not being into the same things that, uh, Nirmala was. No. Not one step further. Nirmala, stop it. So sad, how we grew apart. We were so close back then. If only we could have spoken our minds and been more honest about our feelings. No matter. Marin was always so keen to help, and now she can. She can help bring the end. No, no, please don't. Why are you turning everyone into monsters? Us. We aren't changing them in the slightest. <laughs> What's so funny? You're so clueless, aren't you, boy? We aren't turning them into monsters. We're just revealing their true form. <laughs> they look like monsters to you? Their true form? So Eric, Marin, and Lulu, they're all monsters? That's crap. This isn't Marin, not anymore. This is Raya's perception of Marin, twisted by anger and jealousy. There we go. There we go. And that's why Lulu's, like, so mean to Raya. And Eric's so, like, pushy and all over her. Her deeply held grudge means this is how she sees their true forms. All of this is... Raya's doing? In a way. We did all this to save Raya. Can't you see she's getting weaker by the day? It's true. Her constant denial is hurting her. She locks this hatred and conceals it in a pretty packaging. In this illusion you all call your world. And if she keeps using all her energy on it, her life will be in danger. You're not serious. Crap. We need to do something. Raya has to be able to face the things she kept inside all this time. Shut up. It sounded like Raya. You can't be here any longer, boy. Wait, what should I do? Go. Oh my god, things are getting crazy. Oh my god, there's four Atmas. Oh my god, there's seven Atmas. There you are, giant snail. Raya, please. I want to understand your fantasy. Shut up. Write more stories. What's it going to take to get you to stop talking? Like old times. Enough with your babbling. Shut up, shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I don't need you. Raya, no. Don't do it. Don't interrupt. Can't you see she's in pain? We're here to feel her pain, to be with her. Not like the others that just upped and left. As I thought, everyone's gone. Just disappear like you always do. Ooh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh. Yeah, uh, I'm starting to understand what Atma is. Raya? Thankfully she's still breathing. This time I'll help you, Raya. Here we go. Hello, Mr. Co-Rider. Long time no see. Well, no, I guess Raya and Nirmala do have the same color hair. Raya's looks more like blue, but I guess it's just like a black, because Nirmala's hair definitely looks black. I know. Sorry, I've not been around much lately. It's okay. You finally have a part-time job. That's great. Well, what about you? How's your story going? I mean, the fact that Atma may actually be an imaginary friend that Nirmala slash Raya created to kind of fill the hole that her friend's leaving, you know created would lend would make way more sense why Atma's like a high schooler hanging out with like someone in middle school. What about you? How's your story going? Well, it's it's a secret. <gasps> what was the attitude? <laughs> it's late. Looks like it's gonna rain. Come on, let me walk you home. I don't wanna go home. 
Everything is so empty and lifeless there. I can't write or draw or anything. Something happened at home? Everything happened. I want to be like you, Atma. I want to run away from home. Atma, help me be like you. Like me? I could be independent, live on the outskirts of town, be free. What will you eat? Um, I can eat grass and drink dew from the grass, two for one. Lamest idea ever. Uh, come on, we could be neighbors and write stories every day. <sighs> Ramala, I know you're feeling a lot of emotions right now, but... It's better to wait until the storm has calmed down, until you can see straight. Don't worry, in the storm you'll find your sunrise. You're just trying to get rid of me, aren't you? Like everyone else. I'm useless. Sorry if you think like that, but it's not it. I ran away from home too, to come and live here. I didn't care where I went, I just wanted to be anywhere but my hometown. Then I landed here. I didn't have anyone to count on, lost contact with all my friends and relatives. All because I had this big idea to chase my dream as a writer. That's cool! But the reality isn't as cool as you think. I have to work hard just to survive and I don't have the time or energy to be creative. I'd almost given up, then I met you. Your spirit, your care, everything seems fun again. And you got a great story, so sincere and touching. You make me want to write again. More than that, you've saved my life. I did? And you didn't even realize. I don't know if I can fix the problems you have at home, but I can help with your writing. I know that the Star Princess story is important to you. So why don't we work together to finish it? Really? You mean it? I do. I promise. Thank you. Will you go home now? Uh, for me? Huh, fine. But can we stay a little longer, at least until the sun sets? You drive a hard bargain, Miss Co Rider. We'll finish the Star Princess story whatever it takes, right, Atma? Of course. Promised it with my life. Uh, that is a, that is a rough scene. Especially the, you saved my life without even realizing it thing. My god. Oh, well here's where the depictions of depression and things come in, because god damn. As someone that's been through this kind of stuff before, a lot of this kind of resonates with me. Feeling like, especially like Raya and Nirmala's way of feeling like everyone's abandoning them, and especially Raya's pushing people away. That's very, very, very much something that happens when you're incredibly depressed. You start pushing your, your friends away, you start thinking nobody cares about you. Um, you start just, you know, putting words into people's mouths. It's a horrible, horrible thing to have happen, and... Unfortunately, a lot of the friends that it have that have that it happens to, they don't understand what's happening. They're not in a place where they can understand what's happening. So, yeah, usually they do get frustrated and just stop talking because I mean, what else are you going to do? Um when the people just constantly push you away and push you away, eventually you just kind of give up. I had a friend that did that with me because I was in a similar situation, so you know, I don't talk to that person anymore, and I was pretty awful to them, and I definitely, definitely needed help, but... I, I wasn't mean to them, but, you know, forcing these kinds of things on people is, of course, just not fair to them. Uh, and I wish I had been in a better place at the time and been able to get the help that I needed, but... We're past all of that now. This particular moment just made me think of that stuff and think about how... I don't know, this is a very real depiction of depression. Sorry, got a little bit too real there, but... Atma... It's useless. <gasps> I... I'm coming. Coming... for you. No, Atma, no! We have a story to finish. Don't leave me. I'm alone. Uh, 
that was the moment where you turned from Nirmala to Raya, seeing Atma die, drowning, trying to save you. And your final person that you had left leaving you. My god, this game is getting rough. Ugh. The dream again. This time it feels so real. Nirmala. This looks like the room from Nirmala's space dive in my dream. This time the flowers are withered. Maybe it's not a dream. Let's find Raya, she must be around here somewhere. Okay, rough episode. Rough episode. Alright, well, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of A Space for the Unbound. Definitely a sad one. Definitely, definitely rough to watch if you've ever been through these similar kinds of things before, so... Hope you've enjoyed, despite it all, and I'll see you next time for some more.